Did you know that the phrase cognitive dissonance was invented by a group of sociologists who were investigating a UFO cult? That's right. In the mid-1950s, sociologist Leon Festinger and his colleagues got wind of the predictions of one Dorothy Martin, who lived in Oak Park, Illinois. Martin told anyone who would listen that superior beings, that's what she called them, from the planet Clarion, had visited the Earth. According to Martin, these extraterrestrials had observed, via their flying saucers, a fault line in the Earth that would soon cause a gigantic flood. It would spread from the Arctic Circle to the Gulf of Mexico. As implausible as this might seem, soon a significant local following surrounded Martin and a doctor named Charles Lockheed. They called themselves the Seekers and insisted that members of the cult included the reincarnated souls of Mary, the mother of Jesus, and her husband Joseph. They also predicted that the catastrophe would take place on a very specific date, December 21st, 1954, but that they, the believers, would be saved by the extraterrestrials at the last minute on December 17th. Fessinger and his colleagues observed this group through the months leading up to the supposed day of reckoning, and when the predicted flood did not take place, they carefully watched how Martin and her followers dealt with the disappointment. First, after their predictions did not pan out, the Seekers told followers and newspaper reporters that the rescue had just been delayed. Then they explained that a spaceman had visited them, but decided that he just didn't feel welcome and just left. Listening to these attempts to rationalize the situation, the sociologists coined the term cognitive dissonance, the experience of having thoughts that turn out to be inconsistent with reality. The sociologists concluded that people experiencing cognitive dissonance will eventually resort to one of three remedies. First, they will decide that they were wrong, or they will conclude that they were still correct and add new information to bolster their claims, or they'll just kind of withdraw from their moment and try to forget they ever came up with this, in retrospect, kind of wacky stuff in the first place. My favorite moment watching someone deal with cognitive dissonance came in 1987 when President Ronald Reagan gave a televised speech to give his reaction to what came to be known as the Contragate scandal. A few months ago, I told the American people I did not trade arms for hostages. My heart and my best intentions still tell me that's true, but the facts and the evidence tell me it is not. My heart tells me one thing, the facts tell me something else. That's cognitive dissonance in a nutshell. Who knew that the phrase came out of watching the adventures of a UFO cult?